In this video, I want to take the time to do two more examples of converting velocity time to acceleration versus time. Remember, for velocity versus time to acceleration versus time, we're looking at the slope of the velocity versus time graph. So in this first case, we, it's going down to negative 1, negative 4, starting at 0, 0. So this has a slope of negative 4. So I'm going to come down here to the acceleration graph, and I'm going to draw a line that goes 0 to 1, at negative 4. For this next section, the slope is 0. So I'll come back up here and draw a line at 0. I can connect these with dots if I want. For this next section, it's going from 2, negative 4 up to 4, 4. So the slope, 4 minus negative 4 over 4 minus 2. We get 8 over 2, which is equal to a slope of positive 4. So now I'm going to jump up to positive 4. This will take me to 4 seconds. I end up here. This slope, once again, horizontal line, so I'm back at 0. And that's from 4 to 6. At this point, I'm at 6, 4. And I'm going to finish at 10, negative 2. So negative 2 minus 4 over 10 minus 6, which equals negative 6 fourths, which reduces to negative 3 halves. So I'm going to go down here to one and a, negative 1 and a half, and I'm going to go all the way to 10 seconds at that value. Remember, at this point right here, this is when the velocity is zero. So if you were doing, talking about the motion of this, it's moving in the positive direction, slowing down, and then gets to zero, and now it's moving in the negative direction, speeding up. For this section, we're at 12, zero. So zero minus a negative two over 12 minus 10 which gives us a slope of positive 1. So I'll be at sorry, positive 1 from 10 to 12. And then this section, we are back at 0. So that's another example of acceleration versus time. Do one more. Here, we start with a horizontal line. So we're at 0. So for the first two seconds, my graph is going to be at 0. From 2 to 4, I go from 2, 5 to 4, 0. So 0 minus 5 over 4 minus 2, which would be equal to negative 5 halves. So I go to negative 2 and a half down here until 4. From 4 to 5, I'm back at 0. I'm at 5, 0, and I'm going to 7, 3. So I get 3 halves is my slope. 3 halves, 1 and a half. I have 0 is my slope from 7 to 10. I'm going from 10, 3 to 12, negative 3. So slope here is negative 3 minus 3 over 12 minus 10, which is negative 6 over 2, which is negative 3. So now I'm going to go down to negative 3. Stay on that until 12. This part of the line shouldn't be there. And then from 12 to 15, it's a horizontal line, so slope of 0. So here's two more examples of converting velocity time to acceleration versus time.